have had so many composers contact us. Like, as soon as we started, like, just a wave of them came in. Eventually, uh, Steve Carter came up. Once we found out who he is, everyone in the, on the production team started listening to his music constantly. It was like, it was like well, if we're still listening to his music now, I mean, surely he could do the music for this film and it'd be memorable and stand out. When I met with Michael, David, and Connor, they had a really good idea of what they wanted for the music, and they had kind of presented me a mood board, and, you know, I'm always a little weary sometimes about writing off of temp music, which is sort of like the temporary music, as sometimes people fall in love with that music, and it could be a, a popular score that a lot of people have heard, and so you're sort of competing against that. But those guys didn't really have that intention, and they just, they seemed like they really had a good idea of what they wanted and because it's a period piece and it's the first time I'm doing a period piece, there's sort of some rules that we have to abide by, like uh, specific instruments and specific textures that we're going to go for. While it was a classical movie score, it had its fair share of flutes and pan flutes and uh, acoustics and, uh, and harps and the things that uh, really you know, made it feel like the Dark Ages. Bunch of different things inspire me. Uh, a lot of times it's people. If I'm working with somebody, if I'm scoring a film, I'm working with the director. I try to go off of their, men where they're at and what they're looking for because it really is, I think a lot of times people think the composer's the one that's writing the music and that may be true, but the composer wouldn't be writing the music without the director. So it's very much, the director gets just as much of the credit for the writing of the music. It's all him. Um, I just, I just say, you know, maybe you could do less, you could do more, uh, you know, the music should come in here, it should come there. And that's one of the fun things about working with composers is, is finding exactly where the music can really like pinch the tension and the, and the drive emotionally in a scene. It would be like if you were writing a song with somebody and they're writing the lyrics and maybe you're writing the music. So this will be a score that not only just fits with the film really well, but it would be music that people would just want to listen to all the time, which is the best thing a film could have in terms of music. Overall, it was a very cool conversation and uh, I'm looking forward to developing the sound of the film.